I select small objects millimeters. Now before we go ahead we need to understand that this is our default interface for rhinos. Now we have the top, we have the front, we have the right and we have the perspective windows. They are called our viewports. So this is the top viewport, this is the front viewport, we have the right viewport and we have the perspective viewport. Let's say for example if I want to draw something, I simply select the box from the toolbar Depending on which viewport is basically highlighted, that means I am drawing in that specific viewport. Let's say if I want to go, I want to draw in the front, so the front viewport needs to be active. By clicking on it, that specific viewport is active. I want to draw on the top, so I select the top. I want to draw from the center, so C, enter. The center of the base is 0, so 0, enter. I select the base, I give the height. Now the object is created. Not that we are moving objects, but we want to see that what is basically there on the left and right hand side of our C plane. So either you can zoom out using the mouse or you could zoom in. Now this depends on your mouse. So for example, if your mouse is on this particular corner, the zoom happens on that specific corner. If you zoom out, it zooms out. Let's say I want to zoom to this specific corner. I take my mouse to that particular corner where I want to zoom. Let's say this particular corner and I simply zoom using the mouse. So depending on wherever your mouse is, it will zoom to that specific point. You want to zoom out, you simply zoom out. Let's say I move my mouse to the center and I zoom in and I zoom out. You simply click on the pan and you can simply move the pan left and right. This can also be done. The shortcut is using the right click of your mouse. Simply click and you can move left and right. So if you want to see if you have multiple objects on your C plane, so where those objects are stored. But now if you go to the perspective view and using the right click if you drag, You can rotate the C plane depending on how do you want to see it.